In 1756, Arthur Guinness opened his first brewery here in Leakslip, County Kildare, before moving production to the now famous St. James's Gate in Dublin three years later. But now, Diageo, which owns Guinness, is returning to those Kildare roots with plans for a new €200 million Euro brewery near Newbridge. The plant, which will be the second largest brewery in the country, will be situated on a greenfield site at Little Connell. It will produce lagers and ales for the company, adding about 2 million hectolitres of annual brewing capacity. And what it does for us as well is supporting the growth of our ales and lagers as we move into a new facility. It will allow us to continue to support Guinness production because we'll free up capacity in St James's Gate to do that. But also it will allow us hit our uh, 2030 sustainability goals by creating the space we need in St James's Gate to put in the renewable technology to deliver that. The new facility will be carbon neutral, powered by renewable energy and employing the latest technology to reduce water and energy consumption as much as possible. Around 1,000 construction workers will be employed during the building process, with 50 permanent jobs set to be created once it's open. But the spin-off effects for Kildare, the national economy and the food and drink sector will be wider. It has a knock-on impact uh, for all of the sub-suppliers into Diageo, both through the construction phase, which will employ up to a 1,000 people, for the people who are going to be permanently based at the plant, and then for all the farmers and suppliers that will work with Diageo. In 2008, Diageo announced plans for a new brewery in Leakslip, but it didn't go ahead due to the global economic downturn. The company says this time the project will happen, though, with a planning application due to be lodged by the end of the year. And if permission is granted, beer from it should be flowing from taps from 2024 onwards. Will Goodbody, RTE News.